Welcome to this radio channel, and this is the Monday edition of the Propagation Outlook and Solar Activity Outlook for shortwave listeners and radio amateurs. For some reason, I sound like Arnie Coro when I say that. Um, <laughs> okay, what's happening this week? Well, of course, things are quieting down after we had some uh, unsettled to to uh, you know minor geomagnetic storming due to the famous coronal hole last week um and if we look at you know the data for the past two days you could see that the uh, k index has been going steadily down to uh, two and one so conditions shouldn't be too bad this week and that is because there's no coronal holes for the next few days so we'll have quieter conditions in the geomagnetic storming side of things um, here it says sunpot, sunspot number 11, but um, I was looking at this picture and can't seem to find where do you see a sunspot. So I would guess sunspot number is probably getting to zero now. And uh, of course, this is um, means that the solar flux will probably be a little lower. Uh, but still yet, we should have some very interesting conditions. I mean, even if there's um, a low solar flux, uh, with uh, you know longer days of summer, plus the fact that, uh, or, or almost summer here, and um, you know low uh, K index, meaning turn on the radio this week. Um, the times where it should be the worst for propagation for most people in the northern hemisphere, midday, um, you know anywhere around 11 a.m. local to about 2 p.m. local time is that little period of time where it's going to be non-interesting on the shortwave bands most of the time. But uh, apart from that little, you know, midday peak where propagation is always a little lousy in the summer, the rest of the day and evening should be pretty good. And uh, it's really time to listen to. Listen to the higher frequencies. A lot of reports of 10-meter uh, band activity last week with e-skip, spurtic e-skip. 6-meter uh, also. And uh, have yet to have some of that activity come to my radio yet, but uh, listen in regularly, even in the midnight. You know, uh, one of the things that somebody asked me the other day said, well, you know, I saw a report of somebody that's uh, 10 meter at, uh, you know, 1 a.m. in the morning. It's impossible. There's no sunshine. Yes, it is. Spartic e-skip happens anytime. It's not related to sunshine. It's not related to the solar activity. It's related to other phenomena here on Earth, meaning Yes, 10 meter band can be open at 2 a.m. Even the 6 meter band, 50 megahertz, can be open at 2 a.m. You gotta listen regularly because you never know when these happen and they can actually happen at any times. So, uh, solar activity for this week should be pretty quiet. And um, check out the different bands. You might have surprises. Last night, I was, uh, last night and Saturday night, I was tuning around, um, I'd say below 10 megahertz. Propagation was actually amazing uh, yesterday and the day before. Um, so check it out. Uh, we got some great conditions, and uh, we should have some uh, interesting uh, reception from uh, stations uh, across the bands. So uh, turn on your radios and listen in. So this was the uh, solar activity uh, report and the propagation report. Of course, we update this uh, around midweek, Wednesday, Thursdays, for the you know, reminder the remainder of the week, knowing what's going to happen in the weekends. Hope you enjoy this, and uh, it's always fun to do these that are now regular reports that I'll be posting every week, twice a week on this channel. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.